Each beginning of year is really a reminder of impermanence. I was told the great master Patrambashe, each new year he would weep, saying, I'm one year ne nearer to death. And particularly this year, for some of us who have followed the Nganyu Nyingma tradition, is that two great masters have passed away. One is the Talung Chitrambashe, who was the head of the Nyingmapa school. In fact, he actually went to Buddha Gaya, which is the place of Buddha's enlightenment. And normally it seems many lamas, they have very special ways they practice. Many of them sometimes, master, they will practice, they go to sleep till one o'clock. They go to sleep quite early, around 8.30 or so, one o'clock. They wake up, then practice, and then go back to sleep again. She normally woke up at one o'clock, that day, and then he was made a very, very good breakfast he had. And he told them that now he was looked very happy, very inspired, and he said, now, normally they, you know, don't open the door for several hours. So then he passed away. His body is now in Buddha Gaya. And to remain there during the Nyingma Mulam Shambhu, which is the gathering of all the Nyingma masters and, and practitioners that come there. And then just this morning, we've just learned that Chararamacha, the extraordinary Dzogchen Master Chararamacha, he passed away. He is, I think, 106. He was the last of the great Dzogchen masters. Um, he passed away. So it's very much for those of you who have a connection with him. It's very important to Guru Yoga, to unite your mind with this wisdom mind and receive blessings. Um, so that's why today I might talk a little bit about impermanence and death to start with. Uh, first of all, um, that you see the 5th of January, year 2016, will never come back. Never come back. Tomorrow will be the 6th. Each passing moment we can say we are wasting time or rather to say each moment is very precious as Tingu Kensum used to say the past is past the future has not yet come and as regards the present moment you think about it, it's already passed. So only thing is real is this present moment. What impermanence show us that everything is constantly changing in the state of flux. That's why every moment is precious. Life is precious. In fact, Buddha also passed away. Even though he attained the Vajra body, the indestructible Vajra body, he didn't have uh, passed away, but he demonstrated to us the slothful, the naive, and the lazy, that, that, that life is impermanent. And that's one of the reasons is his greatest teaching, his passing away. So with the passing away, our great master, like 
Chatter Rinpoche and Taung Sutra Rinpoche remind us is that it's very precious. We do not know, you know, actually, we do not know when or how we are going to die. Even though we know we are going to die one day, but since we do not know when or how we are going to die, we think we have an unlimited lease on our life. Do you understand? The great masters, whether tomorrow or the next life which comes first, we do not know. <laughs>